फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू टू पावर बी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर रिसेंटली आस्ड एट टीसीएस दीज टू क्वेश्चंस वर प्रोवाइडेड टू मी बाय वन ऑफ माय लिंक्डइन कनेक्शंस सो आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ वीडियो ऑन दिस सो दैट यू ऑल आर अवेयर अबाउट इट एंड यू नो हाउ टू आंसर दोस इन योर इंटरव्यूज नाउ लेट्स सी दोस एंड बिफोर दैट इफ एनी टू द चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर यूजफुल वीडियोस लाइक दिस एंड यू कैन आल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम लर्न विद गिग्स ऑलराइट यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई हैव अ टेबल which has two columns one is name column and another is subject column so basically interviewer wanted the candidate to do this which you can see on the screen this so if john has knowledge in english physics and maths that should be combined and should be separated by a comma in one particular row followed by mike which is physics comma math and then followed by alice which is only english right now as you can see on the screen we have these in different rows english physics maths physics maths and english we have to combine it so this was the first question this is the little tricky one now see how we can approach this problem so if any situation occurs like this the first thing that should come into your mind is we have to we should group this particular column right because we have to combine it right so grouping will be the first thing that will come into your picture but there is a problem in this this particular column is a text column so it will create problems when we will do group by now let's see how does that problem occur and how we can rectify that so i will select name column then i will click on this group by feature available in power query i will give the new column name as test subject just to see if we are able to do it or not here we will not count because we don't have to count we have to sum it together we have to group them together separated by comma so we'll choose sum here and the column name will be subject now let's see what is the outcome comes out okay and as expected we have a error let's see what is the error so we cannot apply operator hyphen to types text and text that's what i said in the starting it will create problem now how we can rectify this if you have not come across this problem you will definitely not be able to answer this question properly what one more step you should know here is just go to the m code generated over this and basically this list dot sum is creating problem over here so how to make it correct for that you need to make here use of text dot combine function over here it's a easy function that we can utilize in m code which takes two arguments first is subject and the second one is the separator that we want which is comma right so we'll put here comma and now let's see the result and you can see we got the desired result which is english physics maths physics maths and english so in this way you have to answer this particular question i hope it is clear to you now now let's move towards the next question so you can see on the screen we have two columns you assume these two columns were asked so in actual there were two different columns but the situation was something like this only so there is a two there are two columns product column and count column and we have different values like iphone 11 12 13 and 14 and 15 and they have and we have their different counts now the interviewer asks how will you group few particular rows in into one category and another rows into second category without using dax so basically the interviewer wants that iphone 11 12 and 13 should be clubbed under old iPhones and 14 and 15 should be clubbed under new iPhones so how we can do that just click on the product column go to data groups and click new data groups select 11 12 13 click on group option rename it to old iPhones that's it it got grouped into old iPhones now select 14 15 click on group option rename it to new iPhone So you can see without using dax we have clubbed them and we have got the desired result. So this is what you had to answer in front of the interviewer. Do like the video if you love the content on this channel and thank you so much for watching this video.